Hey folks, Black Cross here. Welcome back to Bloodborne. So, real quickly, just to let you guys know, um, uh, my voice is kind of hoarse. My allergies, my sinuses are at the peak of a uh, screw you moment. So, if it sounds like I'm absolutely like, if it sounds like I'm sick, Probably because I am slightly sick in terms of like my vocal cords. But in terms of like how I'm feeling, I'm not feeling that bad. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm not sick at all. I just sound sick. It's what it is. So, like I was saying, I feel, f I feel fine. But in terms of how I sound, I sound a little bit sick. I think this is actually the first time that I'm actually recording while I'm slightly sick. And slightly being the key word, of course. I mean, it's not like I'm puking or I just can't move or anything like that. No, it's just, I feel fine. I just can't talk very well today. And I know technically I shouldn't be recording while I sound like this, but I feel like I want to kill Amidala. I want to kill Amidala, get this over with, and finally have the Chalice Dungeon needed in order to get the Beast Claws. It's like, that's my main concern right now. That's like my main concern at this current moment in time. Also, to to get rid of this thing. And there we go. Technically, I could reduce the amount of frenzy I was gathering just by simply... Uh, well, aren't you just really being complicated right now? There. It's like, if you wasn't gonna let me, I was just gonna shoot you off. I'm hoping that I kill Amidala in this, uh, in, in this video. Because that would be, like, the biggest thing for me to do right now. But I know that Amidala is going to be a lot more difficult in terms of this video right now. Like, that's going to be the hardest one. The second hardest one is to get through the first boss of the Chalice Dungeon itself. And I only say this because technically the first boss in that Chalice Dungeon is the Possessed Beast. And it's not hard. It's just, you got to make certain he doesn't attack you. Otherwise, you're pretty much dead. Like that poor thing. Activate this shortcut here. Okay. Now let's just hope I can kill Amidala. Because, uh, well, one way or another, we're gonna find out the hard way if I have what it takes to beat Amidala or not. Because so far, this area isn't hard. It's just, it's one of those things where it's like, atmospherically, it's hard. Hmm. 
The second I see anything. Trying to attack your arm, you stupid little. Oh gosh, that almost could have killed me. How did it not? Well, this is it. Oh crap. Okay, you know what? That was actually a lot more calmer than what it normally would be. Which is weird, because it's like, 
when it starts to hop around, that's when things start to get real hectic, but that time it wasn't that bad. I'm actually glad that we were able to beat Amidala. So that's nice to know. Okay, so we're in 10 minutes of this video. Um, I know I have enough to level up. You're kidding me, right? Like, you're, you have to be kidding me. Okay, I know how to fix this. Okay, one second. I know that... I know that all I have to do is activate a new Chalice Dungeon. But if I do that, I might end up losing those Echoes instead of gaining some. So the best case scenario, I'm just gonna go ahead and kill off a couple of these beast things. One more, and that should do it, I think. Okay, we got enough. Now then, let's go ahead, level up, and then we'll... We'll tackle on that chalice. Get the beast claws finally. It's about time too. It's like I've been wanting to do the this beast build for a while now. And now I'm just now finally getting the weapon. The main thing that I've been wanting. I'm finally getting it. Welcome. Welcome. Also I just thought of something. Welcome. It's like oh yeah wait a minute. I'm going to need to have some uh, blood echoes just to activate it. Farewell. Farewell, good hunter. How much is required though? Keep it separated from everything else. Okay. Well, this is going to be the prime highlight of your life, guys. You guys watching me trying to get uh, blood echoes. Don't worry though, it won't take us too long to get it. Because what I plan to do, I'm just going to run through the first layer, find the lever, open it, and then run all the way to the boss room. That is my main strategy in terms of like how I'm going to proceed through this. There goes that one. Okay, that's got what we needed. Now it's time to go back and activate the chalice.
No need to panic, guys. This is going to sound really loud for a sec. may have discussed it some of you guys but if I'm hacking it means that I'm starting to come loose finally so I would rather it fix itself rather than me just like oh yeah um crap I can't even think of what I was talking about what I'm trying to say is is that even though it sounds like I'm dying, in reality, the mucus is getting loose. Anyway, let's go ahead and get the beast cloth finally. After this long and triggerless journey, I can finally get the beast cloths. <clears throat> now, I know technically that I can get the beast cloths in a chest after the first boss room. But before you enter in the second main room. So depending on how bad this area is. Depends on like how long it will actually take us. To get to said. Uh, weapon itself. I'm hoping that the boss. Won't be too much of a problem. It just if I let him get to that overpower stage. Which we don't want. Also, this is stupid. I can I can tell this is stupid. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm running past all this. This is like the worst plan I have right now. Oh yeah, I remember you. I will cheese you. What the fuck? Dude, that is a lot more blood echoes than that needs to be. It's been a year since I've played any of the different Chalice dungeons. And my gosh, is that a lot. Oh my gosh, that's insane. That's just insane. I shouldn't be here. Okay, I am hoping that after you beat this thing, then you can, uh, get to the Beast Claws. But that all depends on how hard this thing is going to be. Yeah, this thing's... This is gonna take a while, guys.
Oh no. No! Why was I stuck on that wall? Oh, that's why. A fucking pillar. Ugh. I did good, though. I mean, you guys saw it. I was actually killing it, for the most part, but... That thing... It's, uh, it's a little bit tough. What the frick? I know the thing is fish rolled. Guess it's just through that head ramming thing, huh? Oh, fuck. Definitely don't want that to happen. Oh, crap. Shit, wrong time to fish roll. Er, wrong time to dodge. I wonder... Yeah, I can! Not recommended! Oh, crap. Please tell me he's stuck. I almost got him stuck permanently.
Okay, I know this beast is getting pissed. But hey, it works. Oh, crap this. I had to cheat my way, but it worked. It worked. I've got three minutes. Okay. Now, according to what they say, the Beast Cloth should be located in a secret room just outside of that boss, which is that room right there. We're going to activate this lantern here. No, 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 no. We're too low. We're too low on uh, inventory. That dungeon's going to be hectic. And I've got a lot of blood echoes, so I'm going to go ahead and get myself fixed up. And then we'll go in there. Okay. This is going to be it, guys. This is the video in which I get the Beast Claws. This is the video. Okay. Now, technically, it's in a treasure room. And there's at least one enemy in there that we got to watch out for. But I think we got it. I don't have that many blood echoes to lose, if you want to be technical about it. So, let's see. Here we go. Alright then. Okay. This is suicide attempt number one. Like I said, suicide attempt number one. Oh crap. Okay, yeah, I found this room. Aha. Here it is. Ooh. That got me, almost. I think that's the room. If not, then we're probably like, just still a few more rooms away. This is it! This is it! Come on, give me the beast claws. I got him! I got him! I got him! I have the beast claws now. Well, where is it? There it is. Okay, I finally have the beast claws took me like 16 parts, but I have the Beast Claws, the core element for this build. Oh man. Best part is we get to upgrade it too. We have the Blood Echoes to do it. We have the materials needed, so this thing is going to be souped up and ready to roll. Oh, that's why it needs more in strength. Well, not for long.
Yeah, it's like after it's upgraded a bit, really it doesn't need all of it in strength. We'll fix that in just a sec. It's just a little bit better, but not by much. Now, you look at it now, and it looks like it's just a simple claw set. However, transformation mode... Plus, imbued it with beast hood and everything, this is gonna get crazy. Slam dunk it. See what I mean of how it's like a berserker build practically? It's it's gonna get crazy here in a little bit. Okay, but yeah, next video it's gonna start to get crazy now. Because now that we have the beast claws, we now have the ability to do Pretty much whatever we want to now. Because really, the only thing that's left, other than like, getting like, let's see. Technically I have one of them. Key term being one. Oh no, I have both of them. Huh. Okay, cool. Well, I may go ahead and switch those out real quickly. Just so that way I have the beast imbued in it. Increase my beast hood powers. There we go. Alright then, so let's see. All that's left, other than like maybe get one more beast rune. I think there's three. I want to say there's three beast runes, but I'm not quite sure. I'll have to look that up later on. But other than that, the other, the only other thing that we're needing is that beast uh, cardinal rune. The only way you can get that is if you kill, you guess it. Lawrence. So that one's going to be interesting once we get to that point. But uh, at any rate though, thank you so much for watching and I shall catch you in the next video. This is Blackcross signing off. See you later guys.